This is the lock picking lawyer and the lock I have for you today is this blue banded multi-lock model E14L padlock. Now the E-series padlocks have largely been discontinued by multi-lock in favor of the NE series of padlocks that were made in China. The older E-series were made in Israel. And these locks look superficially very, very similar. However, upon closer examination, you'll see that they are entirely different padlocks. First, we can see that this E-series is just a little bit beefier than the NE series equivalent. You can see the E-series is both thicker and wider. It's probably thicker because the core is oriented from front to back as opposed to the E-series that goes from side to side. And of course, they have different shutter and core retention designs as is the rest of the lock entirely different. We're gonna see if we can pick this E14L open, and then of course I will take it apart and show you what's inside. Okay, let's get our tension in there, and I'm gonna have to hold this at a pretty strange angle to give you a good view, but I'll do what I can. Okay, let's hunt for binding outer pins and one is certainly binding. Okay, got a couple clicks out of him. He feels serrated. Nothing on two. Okay, three is binding. Couple clicks out of him. Nothing on four, nothing on five. Okay, definitely two binding. Let's see if I can center my pick under him. And he's the interactive chamber, so he'll be quite high. Hmm. There we go, got two, and then that's three still set. I'm on four now. Got a click out of him, outer pin on five. Okay, good click out of him, and we got some movement on the core. I'm actually stuck behind the inner pin on five, so oh, I gave him a click, and we got nice movement on the core. Let's go check the other inner pins. Okay, little click out of one. Nothing on two little click out of three, click on four, nothing on five, back to the beginning, nothing on one, click out of two, nothing on three, four, and five opened her up. Okay, let's, uh, let's take these screws out of the front, which is the first step to taking this lock apart. So I'm taking this apart, I'll just mention that even though we have keys that are from the Interactive Plus system, this did not feel like an Interactive Plus core. I certainly didn't feel any of the spooled inner driver pins, nor did I feel any of that counter milling on the outer key pins, but we'll take a look at that. Now this whole assembly should lift out as it does and we should be able to drop pretty much all of the guts of this lock right out, including the core. Okay. Let's start taking the core apart. Before we do, let me try to lock this guy back up. It looks like the inner driver pins dropped into the, into the front there. Let's see. There we go. There we go, got it locked back up. And let's get this clip off the back. Now we just need a key and a follower and this should come apart easily. Famous last words, I know. <laughs> but it worked out this time. Let's take these key pins and drop them out into the tray here. Standards in one, same on two, three, four, and five. 
It's a bit surprising. It's one of the few multi-lock interactives I've ever seen that didn't have at least one spooled top on an outer key pin. Just finish arranging these, then I'll get the driver pins out. Okay. And all of the outer driver pins felt serrated, so that's what I'm expecting to see. And so far that is what I'm seeing, all serrated outer driver pins. As I said, I also didn't feel any spooling on the inner driver pins, and that appears to be correct. I don't see it on any of these. Okay, let me get this so you can see everything. Over in slot seven and eight, I'm dropping a piece of drill protection they put in front of the core. It's always a nice feature to see. And let's move in for the close up. Okay, on the key pins, we can see both inner and outer are all standard. On the driver pins, we have inner driver pins that are standard and outer driver pins that are all serrated. Then over here we have some a nice thick piece of drill protection for the core. Moving over to the core we can see one more piece of drill protection right in the front of the pin stack. We can see holes for more but th those holes are actually not populated. I'm talking about above and below the, the keyway. And if we look down in the slot for chamber number two, we can see the detent that operates the interactive element on the key, and that detent marks this as an interactive, not an interactive plus. Nothing else unusual about this core, so that is it for our multi-lock series, or I guess model E14L. If you have any questions or comments about this lock, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.